Victron BMSs. What I like about them, what I don't like about them, and why do you need a BMS in general? This is gonna be an in-depth, and by in-depth, I'm not actually gonna go in-depth. You guys know me better than that. Example of what a BMS is and why you need them from your Victron batteries. First of all, Victron can be configured in 12, 24, or 48 using the same batteries. We always show you guys these demo batteries up here because they're light, uh, and they don't cost two to $3,000 a piece. There's actually nothing inside of here. But what they're missing is right here is the M8 cables. Now, the 200 amp hour Victron battery is the smallest battery on the market with the most amp hours. Now, these boys are expensive, I'm not gonna lie to you, but what you're paying for is the small size and the high-tech nature of these batteries, and you're actually also, gonna be quite honest with you, paying for the brand name of having the best, most premium product inside your vehicle. Well, all of these Victron batteries come with what's called M8 cables that attach to the BMS. Now, you'll notice right here, this one's actually been severed in half. The customer who got these cut these when they opened up the box. Don't use a razor blade because you could probably cut your M8 cables. Not to worry, these are actually replaceable inside. So if something like this today happens, uh, don't fear. You can give us a call over here at Nomadic Cooling. We can get a pack just like this. Right in here is everything you need to replace. And then you have the M8 cables uh, all fixed up again. I'll probably do a video of that when I have a little bit more time, but if you've ever wanted to see exactly what the inside of the battery looks like in a Victron battery, there you go. So I'm gonna push that over to the side. Now, all of these batteries, look at how sad, can you just little M8 cable just hang in there? It needs a home. They all need a BMS. Now you have a few different options of a BMS. I'm gonna start with the cheapest version. This is a very simple BMS Okay, this is a VE bus BMS for your batteries. Basically, your M8 cables attach right to here. There's a couple little power cables. There's a little communication cables that go in here, but this tells the batteries uh, when to charge. It tells the batteries, it's the brain. It also has right over here what's called the VE bus mains detector. You can only get the main detector if you get it with this. This actually goes right into your inverter that lets this know if your inverter is getting shore power or not. Uh, the exact way to wire this is actually in our wiring diagram. So you could go there or watch the plethora of other videos that aren't as entertaining and as amazing as the videos of which I present to you. So this is a super easy and cheap way to do that. Now I'll tell you what, if you're doing a Sprinter van, a Ford Transit, a ProMaster, if you're doing something in the boating industry where you wanna charge off your alternator, the Smart BMS CL100, they now have a 200 as well, is also, ugh, directions. Who likes directions? Not this guy. Push those over the, to the side. Let's open this guy up right here. Now, I had this in my last van, and it's pretty sweet, okay? You have the M8 cable in out ports right here. I'll put it up. Was it upside down? I'll put a, a right side up for you. You have from the alternator, BMS, and then right out here is into your battery bank. This basically will program up to 100 amps or you can program it even lower by putting in a different size fuse here. This is actually now Bluetooth. So you can uh, control this on your Bluetooth app as well. What I'm trying to say is this is a DC to DC charger and a BMS right in here. Now you can only use this if you're using Victron batteries. This is a great price. It's only 220 bucks retail thereabout where you get your BMS and up to 100 amps of DC to DC charging. Now, the first question you're gonna ask is you can't take 100 amps off your Sprinter van. Uh, guys, I've been doing it for years. Everybody else has been doing it for years off their stock alternator. My stock alternator is working just fine. But if you would like to be under the threshold of the manufacturer's recommendation, that's fine. Just go ahead, dial this down, and then you can just drive twice as much. So that's one BMS and a DC charger all in one. It does everything right here for about 200 bucks. Great value. Now, what's the newest, uh, baddest, uh, big boyest, most expensive, coolest thing on the block, Kenny? Woo! You may ask right here. Ah, more directions, more stickers. Obviously, keep all your stickers with you. Uh, we got some pluggies right in here. What is this thing? It's just so beautiful, Kenny. This is the old Lynx Smart BMS that can be used with the Lynx Power In and the Lynx Distributor. This is actually your shunt, your on-off switch, and your BMS all in one pretty beautiful package. And this will actually reduce the time it takes 
to install all this and reduces the amount of wires and space you need in a system. This is an upgraded version of a BMS. If you're doing a super simple cost-effective solution, the BMS simple one is right here. If you wanna get 100 amps of DC to DC charging for a low price point, this is your guy right here. If you wanna get a battery that doesn't have a cutoff M8 cable, don't use an X-Acto knife to open your box. Now, if you're not using Victron batteries and you're using internal BMSs in some of the batteries, a lot of people think that that's better. But I will tell you this, if those break, stop working, it's much easier to replace an external BMS than it is to replace something inside the battery. Guys, if you wanna go further in comfort with a badass BMS for your Victron batteries, give Nomadic Cooling a call today. We're here for all your BMS needs, necessities, wants, and desires. Let's go further.